Hi artists. Today we're going to finish the bald eagle pictures that we started last time. Last time we had a drawing and outlining day and we started in pencil first and then we outlined second. Today we are going to have a color day and we're gonna take a look, whoops, at the colors of bald eagles and we're going to be adding color to our own pictures. I'm gonna show you some coloring tricks. Here we go. Before you begin to color in your eagle picture today, decide if you'd like to add any more details today that you didn't add last week. If you would like to add more details today, you're going to need a pencil and the supply that you outlined with last time, a Sharpie, a black marker, or a black crayon. Now, if there's nothing else that you would like to add today, you are definitely ready to add some color to your eagles. And you can use any art supplies that you have available at home. You can use crayons. You can use watercolor paint if you have it available. You can use markers. And some of you used white paper. Some of you used construction paper last time. So try to pick a supply that you know will work well on the paper that you used when you began. Now, before you add color to the details, start by adding color to your eagles first. And we're gonna need to figure out what colors we need our eagles to be. In real life, bald eagles heads are white. Now if your paper is white, you can just leave the head empty. But if your paper is a color, like I use dark blue paper, you're going to need a white crayon to color in the head of your eagle. So everybody's going to be in a different situation depending on their paper choice. Now, when you're coloring in the beak of the eagle, you have more than one choice here. You can use a yellow color, or if you prefer, you can use an orange color. So either one will work. It's really up to you. Now, I, before I put my yellow away, I should use yellow on something else. Can you figure out what? That's right. I should add color to the talons. That means the claws or the feet. Now, for the eagle's feathers. Eagle's feathers in real life are what color? That's right. They're like a brown or a dark brown. So, you can find a color brown if you're using markers or crayons or paint. And when you're adding color to a large spot in art, I have a tip for you. It always helps to outline your shapes first. So something that I like to do when I am adding color with markers or crayons or even paint sometimes, I like to kind of outline around the space first so that I stay in the lines. That always helps me. I can just keep on going all the way around. And then when I'm adding color, I like to keep the direction of my crayon moving the same way. So for example, instead of coloring in diagonal and then up and down and then across, I'm gonna just pick one way to color. If I wanna color up and down, I'm gonna start on one side and I'm gonna work my way to the other side. And this is gonna save my hand from hurting. A lot of times when we use crayons and we're pushing really hard, for example, um, your hand kind of gets cramped up. It kind of hurts after a little bit. This kind of saves your hand a little bit. If you color one way and you're not switching around the direction too much, it really, really helps make your picture look nice and neat. And it also helps save the muscles in your hand from being too overworked. Now for my eagles, the tail matches the head, so the tail should also be white. I can leave the tail white because my paper is white, but again, if you have 
construction paper that's a color. You're gonna have to color in the tail. So make really good decisions. Now let's just pretend that I colored in this eagle. I didn't, but we've got great imaginations. We can pretend if both of my eagles are colored in, I am ready to color in the rest of my picture and everything else in your picture. You're the artist. It's up to you what colors you use for the rest of your items. You're going to have to make really good color choices though. If I want my mountains colored in, which I do, I'm going to have to just be very careful with the colors. If I use a brown, it might blend in with the feather. So I'm going to use a green so it looks like maybe there's trees on the mountain. And something that you guys have to know is instead of just coloring in like the top of the mountain, right? All of this behind my eagle is background mountain space too. So you're gonna have to color in the entire space that you've created for yourself. So definitely do your best with that. Um, and use our coloring tricks. Like right now I am coloring just up and down to kind of save my hand a little bit of work. So definitely try that out. You guys can see that I did that on my finished one over here. I colored in the entire mountain. Okay. It's up to you what other colors you use. It's up to you what else is in the picture. I can't wait to see what you create. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Have a wonderful time.